What a mooly. Uh, so it won't surprise you, uh, my opening sentence, that the members of the JCU community who work in and visit the Eddie Koike Marbo Library have always been proud of the connection of the library to the Marbo story. For many years, a small timeline and poster display on the first floor of the library conveyed the story of this connection to people visiting us. Thanks to library staff Nathan Miller, Clara Vasca and Sharon Bryan for the kernel of the new timeline. Uh, the library staff had long felt it would be fitting to have a larger, more prominent display telling the story of Eddie Koikimabo. An opportunity presented itself when an area on the ground floor required a redesign to make better use of the area, and it opened up just the space that we needed to tell this story. The university agreed and provided the funding to develop this new display as part of JCU's 50th anniversary celebrations. So with the remit to celebrate the 50th anniversary theme of people, place, knowledge, legacy, we agreed that we could address something that staff had long wanted to do, which was have an acknowledgement of country that was directly from our traditional owners here on this land that the building actually stands, the Bindle people. And again, we wanted something um, more prominent and welcoming than the small poster that we had that stands at our service desk. As well, it was the perfect opportunity to share the history of this iconic building, designed by noted architect James Birrell. We looked to Museums Queensland because of their expertise in creating interpretive displays and worked with them to create two large panels of work illustrating the timelines of Marbo, the country on which the library sits, and the library building itself. A third panel uh, incorporates a large digital screen which allows for dynamic content while the website allows us to build on the time points illustrated in the timeline. The stories that you see could not have been told without acknowledging and special thanks to some key people. The wall and accompanying website draw significantly on the published works of Noel Luce, Henry Reynolds and Brian Kean Cohen. Gail Marbo provided invaluable advice on the design elements of the Marbo interpretive wall and allowed us to reproduce treasured family photos that bring a special value to this project. Dorothy Savage, Bindle spokesperson, worked with us on the acknowledgement of Bindle country and we thank her for sharing creation, stories and symbols that tell the story of this special place. Dr. Daniel Lavery, adjunct research fellow in the College of Business Law and Governance at JCU, whose PhD focused on Indigenous sovereignties re-emerging in the Australian landscape in the native title era. And Professor Martin Nakata, our Pro Vice-Chancellor of Indigenous Education and Strategy. So, and thanks also must go to current, though sadly only temporary, library staff member and independent artist Bernadette Biscacci, who brought the timeline motive to life. It represents a watercourse, the Ross River, into which both Watamuli and Gundaloo Creeks flow, and its serpentine form represents Gobalamunda, the carpet python, which is the key creation spirit of the area, significant to the Bindal people, and also the Tagai constellation of the Torres Strait. In the end, many library staff worked tire tirelessly, researched diligently, consulted widely, and collaborated extensively to produce what you see. It should not surprise you to learn that the combined wall and website have a 74 item source list of books, articles and more. Even less surprising for those that know us is that this list is presented in perfect APA citation <laughs> style. I invite you to explore the wall and the website and trust that it tells an important piece of JC's story of people, place, knowledge and legacy. Thanks.